All right, so welcome back to Canva Creatives Hub. Today we're going to be looking at how we can make money with Canva with uh, more importantly and specifically Canva templates. So what are Canva templates? Well, you would create a template in Canva and then you'd actually deliver that template to your customer on a place or a marketplace like Etsy. And who um, would actually buy this stuff? Well, you have right over here proof that this actually works. There's thousands of sales right here um, on Etsy of people that actually want you to go out and create the template for them so that they can go in and just plug in their company's information or their whatever they want to plug into the, um, you know, the template, they can plug that in real quick. And they you did all the work. So you save them a bunch of time, like right over here, wedding planner bundle. This is a Canva template that they've already done all this for you. And all you're going to do is just go and use their template, which is super cool. There's one that um, in particular, I want to go and see if we can kind of recreate. And when we look at this one right over here, it's selling and this is a set of eight. It's a 2024 editable, editable <laughs> calendar uh, Canva template, right? So we go and click on that and we go and look at and kind of just check it out and see what it looks like. What kind of art are they? It's very, very basic. And the big thing about this is that you're letting the customer who buys the template be able to switch out each um, kind of heading or they can put whatever image they want on there and then they're gonna get different views. So you can come in there and create a bunch of different ones. We're gonna create one of them right now together, but um, essentially uh, you're doing the work for them and then they can customize their calendar uh, based on your template. So it's super cool. So let's go and create a January 2024 uh, template that's kind of similar to this. I'm using this as inspiration. I'm not gonna create it exactly. I'm gonna do one a little bit like this right here. But again, we're going to use it for inspiration. I kind of want to do one like this one, but also put some notes in at the bottom or something like that. So let's go see how we can do that. Before I do that, I'll just show you over here. Uh, I went into one of my projects on Canva. This is coloring book design project. And look at all these coloring book um, covers uh, that we created, me and my team, we created all of these coloring books inside of Canva. Um, using only Canva. We created coloring books with Canva. We created the um, artwork. We created the coloring book covers and so forth using Canva and sold these on Amazon KDP. So there's so many different things that you can do with Canva. But right now we're going to go and we're going to go and we're going to need a, I kind of already checked Canva and I didn't see any calendars, updated calendars for January, 2024. So when I went over here and I just typed in blank January 2024 calendar, now you can even go into Google calendar or um, like you could go into your calendar on your uh, Mac or windows machine and grab a blank calendar. Um, but you could go over here and I'm just going to grab a snapshot of this. So all you would do is just go and um, grab what you need to from here. Right. And then you would just push capture. Right. And then once you do that, we'll come right into to Canva and I will go over to um, home and we'll just say create a design. And in this case, we're going to go with a custom size and it's going to be 8.5 by um, 11, just like that. Create new designs. So we're just going to go with that classic portrait um, um, or a US letter size. Okay. So then once we're inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and grab that calendar that we um, have. I'm going to paste it in here. So now we have this calendar right here. Now we do have some guides. We can turn on the guides by going to file view settings and we can show our margins right here. Um, and so we can use that as a guide. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and that over like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to elements real quick and just grab like a shape right over here. Uh, actually, we don't want this. Uh, we want to go and get one of the frames over here. I'm going to grab this one to make it a little fancier. And we're going to move this right over here. And then I'm going to move that up like so, just like that. And then we're going to drag this over like that. So then now what someone can do is uh, we'll come and check that out in a second. But what I'm going to do is come back over here and we're going to go to text. And then I'm going to go ahead and just say add heading. And I'm going to say January. And then I'm going to move this up right over here. I'm going to move this down a little bit so we can make the font a little bit bigger like that. And then we can just kind of resize like that. So now we have our text in there. 
and you could change this text, this font out, make it something fancier, maybe some handwriting over here. I recommend staying with um, at all of your graphics and um, anything that you're going to use with font or graphics to use them or make them not uh, the pro version of stuff because when someone buys this, the likelihood that they have pro, I um, mean, most people are not going to have pro. So you're going to want to provide them with um, fonts that are free uh, for them to use as well, right? So I'm just going to go with this. This is pretty cool like that. Um, so if that makes sense, they're going to be able to use whatever you have in your uh, template because you created it with free uh, versions of stuff, right? So they'll be able to come in here and either use that or switch it out with whatever they want. They can easily come in here and change the font out to a pro font, no problem. But you're going to be providing the basic bones of this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hover over this calendar. I'm going to go over to edit photo. We're going to add an outline to this. I'm just going to keep with black for now, but it's going to just make it uh, kind of look a little bit nicer and I'll drag it over just a little bit and then center that a like that. Okay. So these margins, they don't, your, your, um, your graphics and text can uh, go over the margin um, a little bit, but not too much. So now we're going to, um, we have some lines over here. So there's a couple of different ways you can do the lines. You can go to elements and then you can go to lines and go to graphics. And you're going to see that there's different ways that we can put lines in here. So you would just grab one of these and you would drag it down like so, and you would have lines already ready. Um, but another way you can do it is you can just say like shapes, we can come over to shapes right over here. And then we can go with just a line right here and we can create our own lines like so. And then I'll just grab that and I'll do a control copy, control V, and we'll move that down. So um, just enough so they can write some notes on there. And then we'll just probably do maybe just one more line right there and put it at the bottom like so. So then now there's lines and we can now, so when you, you go and you save this template, um, when it gets opened up by your customer that just bought this from you, they can now come over here and go to elements and maybe January is all about fitness, right? So fitness motivation. So maybe we want to go for a fitness motivation. We want to go to photos and maybe someone finds something in here that they want to um, throw in here for motivation. So they're going to just be able to drag and drop that in there and customize this calendar for themselves. And then they can go and print this out and they can come over here and jot little things down. This would be more of a month view, right? So anything majorly important of the month, they'd put on these lines over here. Uh, maybe we would want to try to put notes right here or something like that. So this is just a quick start on how you can create, you know, something that looks like this. Um, it's very similar to this right here. Um, and this is a quick way that you can do this. And here's another one that I did right here. There's a little bit more lines right here. And you have a different font right there and a different header right there. So the header um, image is a little bit smaller right there. Uh, right over here, we have a bigger image. But if we made this image smaller and then brought this up, right, we would be able to move everything up if we wanted to like so. And then from that point on, we can actually have more lines available for notes, right? So I would just go something like that. And then maybe we grab this and do copy v, control V. And then right here, I just say notes. And we make that a little bit smaller like so. And then we just move this over like that. And now you have this nice template. Okay. So this image, we would delete this image. We would leave it like this. And then we would go up to the share button over here. And then we would click this right over here called template link. So then now we have this create template link button. So I'm going to copy this. And if I go in to an incognito window, new incognito window, and then there you're going to deliver this in your deliverable file, whether that's a PDF or whatever it is, a word document, they're going to be able to click on this and use this template. And this is what it's going to look like for them. Look, it says right over here, my name and um, the template that I'm sharing with them. And they'll be able to use this and go and change out anything that they want inside of this template. So 
It's a really, really cool way. Now, obviously, you're going to want to come over here and you're going to want to create these really big, nice bundles. Like over here, this is a set of eight. So create eight really unique, cool designs and get this up. And right now is the perfect time to do this because now you're going to be, out, be able to go out there. It's December right now. And so now's the month to go out there and create all your journals for 2024, create all these um, templates for Canva, all, anything that you can think of create all those right now so then they're ready to go in January. People will start buying that this month actually to get ready for the new year. People are already gonna start getting ready for the new years, which is just uh, less than four weeks away now. Um, and then you can go out there and start making sales on Etsy and all kinds of other platforms. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And if you're not subscribed to Canva Creatives Hub, go ahead and subscribe because I'm putting out more videos like this. I'm gonna show you how to actually use Canva to the best of its ability so you can use it in your small business to get graphics done for you, to get logos done for you, to get your YouTube thumbnails done for you, uh, to, you know, do uh, create templates and to sell graphics, sell coloring books. They're, the sky's the limit. Using Canva, um, you can do so many things and you can even use it in your business and to make money from it. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.